Hey, how you doing? It's oh, let me turn this down. <laughs> Good grief. There we go. Okay, this is Tom. This is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm just playing around with my SDR Play. This is the RP R RSPDX. It's hooked to um, my G5 RV antenna. I'm upstairs in my office, and it's 4.26 a.m. And I was using the option to scan a memory bank, and I had chose the 49-meter 49 mem 49 memory bank that I had set up. And I ran across this station here. It says it's China... And I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and I think the transmitter is in China. It may not be. I haven't researched that. And it was coming in pretty good. And it's not its not this signal right here. It's the one right next to it at 6.185. And um, I'm also using a plug-in called Black Cat systems toolbox now what has happened is the people at SDR play has have updated SDR Uno again and now they've better organized the plugins that you can use and they added this black cat plugin now I had up here a second ago the actual let me see if I can get it up here again. Right here. Okay, whoops, it huh, didn't work. Right there. That nah, keeps hiding. Okay, we'll do it this way. Plugins. So here are the plugins now which are included in the latest build of SDR Play, which is um, 1.40.2. And so now they're including this Black Cat Systems plugin and the Fran plugin. And you have to, if you've already installed Fran, you have to kind of clean out your directory before you install this latest version because it's going to cause the program to get confused. And luckily, the people on the SDR Play uh, group helped me out and I got it cleaned out and now it's working. Anyway. So this is what you do. You load the, the Black Cat System one, which I think I have loaded. Let me uh, reduce this. Yeah, there it is right there. That's what it looks like. And you turn on streaming. And by uh, doing that, um, it connects itself. Just by doing that, it connects itself to the back Black Cat System's programs that are standalone programs and there's the DX toolbox there's the weather facts decoder and then there's the SSTV used by amateur radio operators uh, and listeners decoder so I'm running right now I'm running right here in this window the DX tools and of which if you go to here to Windows, it's a ton of applications associated with this toolbox. And the one I'm running right now is the shortwave broadcast schedule. That's what you saw up maybe, uh, I think. Well, let me see if I can get it up again. I had it up there. Okay, there it is right here. So now, with, <clears throat> with this streaming running, and you have to uh, select in this other program back here this is the toolbox you have to set it up to you to talk to SDR Uno just you just select you see if I can find it uh, no it's not there it's not there it's uh, so where'd it go that's not what I wanted to do I thought it was under here. Yeah, this was what I was afraid of. I got lost. I always get lost. Um, not there. Not there. Who I don't remember where it is. But there is. 
somewhere <laughs> there is <clears throat> uh, a setup oh it's under help yeah right there setup I knew I'd forget because in the previous version which I started using it turns out it wasn't the right version the setup was located in a different place so you go to setup and then down here there's a list and you select SDR Uno plugins and that connects these programs in the toolbox to SDR Uno okay so we did we already done that so now bring this one back up so now I can go through and this has a lot of options you can select uh, one of the meter bands you can search you can select by station it's got a whole bunch of options and then once you get this up you can tune your SDR by clicking on one of these station entries and let me see if I can get this I, it's obvious it's obvious I'm going to have to get a bigger screen. Uh, I actually have a another sc uh, monitor connected to his little laptop, but it's a it's a kind of a job to get thing move get things moved from one screen to the other screen and back. Like what I'd really like to do. Right now, okay, I'm going to calm down here for a second. What I'm doing right now is I'm duplicating the main laptop screen to the external 24-inch screen. That's the easiest thing to do. The other thing you can do is you can say the external monitor, use it as an extension. So basically it gives you two, a wider screen basically. But I don't know of an easy way. Okay, this is the other thing. I'm using um, a trial version of this DX Tools. And periodically what it does, it will pop up and say, if you find this useful, buy it. So you can try it out. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying it out right now. I'm right on the verge of buying it because so far I'm liking it. And like I can say there's tons of tools I could do a whole, and I probably will I'll do a whole show on all the tools well not all the tools I'd probably take an hour or maybe some of the tools anyway what was I saying oh about my screens so if I could get if I could say okay grab all these SDR Uno screens and throw them over to my monitor and then I would use my laptop for this stuff but unfortunately I haven't I haven't figured out how to how to say okay put all these windows it's like a dozen of them over on the other screen without just having to drag them one at a time I hope you understand what I mean anyway my point was originally <laughs> was the solar flux index this morning I mean it's going up and down up and down this morning was 82, so that's why I see, tried to see if I could receive some long-distance stations. And I think I was, but it's gone now, I think. Let's go back and unmute it and see if there's anything there. No, it's really, really weak. But this, I believe this is from China. Uh, let me see if... I think there is a way, and I, f I know the, the people at uh, Black Cat Software who have been very helpful. I mean, I had a lot of problems getting this set up. Just, just my confusion, plus I had old versions of SDR Uno, and they were getting mixed and all that stuff. But they helped me help. They helped me tremendously to get this working. <clears throat> I think I there was a way. I know there's a way where you can go and you get more columns here. Let me see if I do this, if I get it. No. I think there is another column that tells you where. Let's slide this over and see if that'll help. Where the transmitter is. And I don't see it listed right now, and I don't remember how you did that. 
I'll have to go back and figure out how to do that. Because in a lot of cases, you'll see a listing and it'll say like China Radio. Well, China Radio has transmitters throughout the world. So on a given frequency at a given time, you could be listening to a transmitter close by, like there's some down in Cuba. And so it's sometimes it's a little confusing to know where the signal that you're hearing is coming from. I think this one was, it's gone, was coming from China. But I think it's gone now. But anyway, I wanted to point out two things, or a couple of things, is the latest version of SDR Uno, the 1.4.40.2, uh, has this new organization of plugins, and when you install it, they give you, in that package, they give you their plugins, their three plugins, plus the Fran plugin, that's a third party plugin, plus this Black Cat system plugin, which connects to some of the Black Cat utilities. So you want to get that first. Then you get the beta version of the latest DX tools from Black Cat Systems. The beta version is the one that works with this plugin. I mistakenly got the latest released one, and the latest released one doesn't. So that was one mistake. I couldn't get it working. <coughs> anyway, there are, and let me see here. Uh, let me move this screen out of the way. That's, that's another reason I need a bigger screen is... Uh, I like to have this to be bigger. And there you go. Okay, so the other thing that the schedule program that's within the <laughs> DX toolbox is it marks on the screen the stations like Fran does or similar to Fran does. Let me zoom in. There you go. You can see them right there. Now, ideally, what I need to do is I need to, and I can see, does this scroll down? No. I think there's an option where you don't get both of these, and therefore this would be bigger. i got to go back and figure out how to do that. I'm, <sighs> I'm remiss in that I don't read the manuals thoroughly on these, these programs, the plugins, and SDR Uno. And even when I read them, sometimes I don't understand them. That's me. That's just me. Uh, they both, both uh, SDR Uno and Black Cat Systems have great detailed manuals. So I'm not complaining about that. It's just me. So I need to go back to the manual and figure out, I believe there's a way to not get, let me see, maybe it's right here. I'm babbling, I know. Oh, no, I don't see it there. I think there is a way to get rid of the waterfall. Therefore, this will be bigger. Therefore, these will be easier to read. Now, these are easy. I can say I've got this screen duplicated on a 23-inch monitor. And these are very easy to read on that 23-inch monitor for me. So that problem is kind of solved. I think I babbled enough. I just wanted to show you that I was able to receive that distant station. I think it was in China, maybe not. Um, and I wanted to just give you a kind of a little snapshot of these new plugins, the ones from Black Cat Systems. Like I say, they got the DX tools. I mean, yeah, the DX tools, which I get that back up. Whoops, I get that back up. This is the main window. And you click on Windows, and these are the all the tools. And I've tried them all just briefly um, that come with this toolbox. Now, this toolbox is not free. Like I say, you can get what I'm doing right now. You can get a um, trial copy. It runs for, I don't know, about five minutes, and then it gives you that reminder to please buy it. And so you can try everything out. I mean, that's cool. I like that. And it's just you know, tons of stuff. A gray line map, 
satellite tracking. It's even got satellite tracking. Watch me screw it up here. There we go. Satellite tracking. Um, just going to show you a couple just briefly. The, the uh, shortwave schedule, a logbook, uh, shortwave broadcast reminders. So you can set up reminders to go listen to a station at a given time. It's got AM radio station information, FM radio station information, TV station, a VHF, UHF, EC, FCC database. And I, I uh, opened that, and you have to load, download the database, and it downloads tons of information. It took about a half hour to get it all down, and it's got all kinds of information about stations on VHF, UHF, anyway, anyway, it's, this just blows me away, this program, I definitely am going to buy it, I'm just trying to learn it, and uh, <clears throat> I probably, I, I, it's unbelievable, I have not purchased this, and yet I've got tremendous support, very quick report, uh, support from Black Hat System, so, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to buy it, whether I'm going to send them a check or try and see if I can figure out what my PayPal account is or whatever, and I'm mumbling, so I'm going to call it quits. Check it out. If you've got some questions, I you can ask me. I probably can't answer, but maybe I can get the answer. Have a great day. Bye-bye.